Hey everyone, here's a look at our folded paper transitions after effects template. Super excited to showcase this new pack of over 35 paper transitions in after effects. In the video prior, I showcased how to use the motion graphics templates and edit them in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna walk you through now how to use the after effects template to get some more custom control out of the transitions. So I'm gonna go back into this main project folder, open up the After Effects project file, and this is After Effects 2024. You're gonna get the Paperful JPEGs, the image placeholders, and then your comps. And these are each of your 36 transitions. And then there you go, that's it, right? And so in order to edit this, you simply wanna click on the red layer, the Replace Me layer, double click on it, open it up, and simply drag in whatever image or video clip you want on top of the current layer. So you can just drag it on top, scale it down, and then click back into the main paper transition comp, and it will automatically register with the animated transition in and out. Now, to customize this further, let's say you have a video clip and you want to specifically animate into the video clip at a certain point, then let the video clip play out and then for it to do the animation out. Let me show you how to do something like that. So double click on the pre-comp layer here and this is gonna bring up all the layers in the animation. And right now this sequence is a little longer than one second. Let's say you want it to be five seconds or six seconds or 10 seconds. Simply do an Apple K or Command K. And this will bring up your composition settings. And from here, you will see the duration right now. And you're seeing it's one second and five frames. Let's make that five seconds. So zero, five. And now if you press the minus key, this will zoom out on your comp to show you the full five seconds. And you can grab, select all your layers, and then simply extend them out to the end of the timeline. Then, these are all your keyframes, right? And to see your keyframes quickly and easily, you can simply select U. Just tap U, and that will release all your keyframes. You can tap it again, and it will all go back. So then you wanna basically grab all the animation out keyframes, select them all, and just move them to the end of the clip. And now you have a transition that's whatever duration you want it to be. And then you can simply export, you can be go back out to the main folder paper transition timeline, do the same thing, do Apple or Command K, change this duration to the same duration that you had. Click OK. Press minus to zoom out, select them, and bring them to the end of the timeline. And now you will have the animation in, it will hold and play your video clip, and then animate out whenever you'd like it to. And so let's say you want to go ahead and export this for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, any other video editing system, just simply go up to Export, Add to Render Queue. This will bring up your render settings and you can click on your best settings right here. You can leave all of these settings as is, just click OK. Click on your output module. And with your audio, just click audio output off, no need for audio on this. And then you wanna change your format from H.264 to a QuickTime format. And then your format options are gonna be Apple ProRes 4444. And then select channels RGB plus alpha. And this will en enable the alpha layer for you to simply drag and drop on top of your video footage so that you will get the animation in and out. And then your output module will just be whatever folder you want to output it to. Go ahead and select that. And then you click render. Um, and that will render it out. And then you can drag and drop that video file directly into whatever video editing software you want. But let's say that you wanna re-render out this motion graphics template with the new duration of five seconds, right? Well, then you wanna go up to your windows, click on Essential Graphics, and this will bring up your Essential Graphics panel. And under your primary, go ahead and drop down and select what folded paper transition you want to re-export. And then, Go ahead and you can rename it. If you wanna rename this one, folded paper transition 1.2, that's fine. And you click on export motion graphics template, 
Click Save. And then you can go ahead and select the folder and place it wherever you would like. I'll just send it to my desktop for now. Click OK. And there you go. It will export it and it will be right where you place it. And you can just drag and drop that into Premiere Pro just like we did with the previous motion graphics templates in the other tutorial. And so that's it. That's how easy it is to edit and use this After Effects template. We wanted to make it as simple and intuitive for you to use. We really hope you enjoy this. This was a lot of fun to make and we really enjoy using this pack for our own edits and our own client work. And we're really excited to see what you guys cook up with it as well. Thanks so much.